So this here is the FLP 350 by Fesley. It is an LP style guitar modeled after the ESP LTD Eclipse line. I want to thank Fesley for reaching out and sponsoring the video, sending me one of these to review for the channel. At the time of this video, it is available on Amazon for around $180. I'll be sure to leave affiliate links in the description. Just keep in mind, I might earn a small commission from that. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and do a quick unboxing of this guitar. I'll do an overview, give you all the specs on it. Then I'm going to do a bunch of different demos so you can get a good idea of how it sounds. From there, I'll give you the pros and cons and everything in between you'll need to know to consider whether or not it's worth your time, effort, and money. Let's dive in. Seriously, look at the size of this box. I did reach out to Fesley regarding this and they stated that Amazon Logistics were the ones responsible for packaging this so well. Eesh. All right. So as we can see, this one also comes with a really nice padded case. We have instruction manual, we have Fesley cable, and we have a nice guitar strap. This guitar is very well protected in here. Look at this, huh? This thing is beautiful. Like, I am super impressed. I absolutely love the neck on this. It's got a very traditional, fatter feel, while the body is still actually pretty thin. So what I'm gonna do now is a quick overview of this guitar, go over the specifications of it, and then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do some demos for you guys. So for an overview with this guitar, we're gonna start with the bridge. Nothing too crazy there, just a basic LP style bridge. As far as the uh, knobs here, you have two volume, one tone. The pickups are not active, they have covers on them. So they kind of give the appearance that they're active, but they're not, they are passive pickups. It is a three-way switch on here, which is typical of a Les Paul style. The body is, according to Fesley Poplar, the neck, according to them, is mahogany. The neck actually is, in my opinion, kind of one of the highlights. I really do like the way that this neck feels. The fretboard is Purple Heart, which I'm not really familiar with but apparently it's one of the more exotic woods. And in looking at the frets, they're not stainless, unfortunately. The, uh, the good thing is they're polished. They did come polished, so if you can see there, they kind of shine nicely, and they were leveled, which worked out well. The tuners, I think they're a one to 18 scale gear. They're enclosed, nothing really special here. And the headstock is just you know basic with the Fesley logo on it. And a couple other things you should know, it is a typical Les Paul scale, a 24.75 scale. That's the distance between the bridge and the nut. The nut itself is just basic plastic. It's nothing crazy. Although it is slotted appropriately and not an issue with regards to tuning, it is basic plastic. And this guitar is not an arch top. The top of the guitar is flat. Another thing to note, it is satin finish. Love satin finish guitars. And lastly, this guitar is made in China. You'll notice on the back of the headstock, made in PRC, that's People's Republic of China. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and fire this up, put it through a range of different audio tests to give you guys an idea of how it sounds. And from there, what I'll do is get into the pros and cons of this instrument and what Fesley has and hasn't improved on. Yes, that is indeed the solo that I've played in like every review video I've ever done, but part of the reason for that is I wrote it and I own the rights to it. So I don't have to worry about getting copyright claimed. And you would think after 10,000 times of playing it, I wouldn't screw up the tempo at the end. And yet here we are. Anyway, I digress. What I'm going to do now is play some clean tones here to give you an idea of how this guitar sounds without any distortion. And then from there, I'll put some different distortions on it for different styles of music to give you an idea of what you can expect.
I'm going to add a little bit more distortion and play through the different pickup configurations here. Alright, so I'm going to drop the tuning a little bit, do a quick metal rhythm, and then we'll get into the pros and cons of this guitar. So hopefully that gives you a good idea of how these pickups sound. What I'm going to do now is get into the pros and cons of this instrument, starting with the first pro, and that's how the pickups sound. I thought the pickups in this guitar sounded great considering the price point. Really for a sub $500 guitar, and even better for a guitar that's under $200, these pickups sounded really good. Where these pickups really excelled was with metal and hard rock because they are on the hotter side. If they had a weak spot, it would probably be blues with very light distortion. They just kind of sizzle there because they're on the hotter side. But for my style of play, I really liked them and I thought they were pretty good. And if you're a beginner, the cool thing about this is you're not going to have to run right out and swap the pickups out. So yeah, pickups sounded pretty good. And the second pro to this guitar is going to be price. At the time of this video, this guitar is around $180 on Amazon. And it's really kind of hard to ask for more than what you're getting here at that price point. And that leads me to number three, which is the finish. The sunburst on this guitar looks really good. And from all the reviews that I've seen on the matte black, it looks just as good, if not better. But the real surprise here was the binding. Typically on sub $300 guitars, you will find binding issues. You know, it just isn't cut quite right. It looks a little bit jagged. It's not perfect. On this guitar, I was really surprised to see that the binding looks clean and even all the way around the body. So yeah, overall, this guitar looks really good. And the fourth pro to this guitar is going to be this setup. Both of the Fesley guitars that I have came with tags like this, and I'll try to get you a close-up of this, but what this tag is, is it shows the distance of the string from the fretboard on its respective fret. I took the liberty of measuring this to see if it was accurate, and as it turned out, it was. So this shows me that someone took the time to actually set this guitar up right before it left them and arrived to me. The reality is it just illustrates that budget instruments are getting better and better and arriving to a setup even when I bought more expensive guitars at three or four times the price that arrived very poorly set up. And the fifth pro to this guitar is going to be that it comes with a case, a strap, and a cable. What's awesome about this is if that you're a beginner, chances are you don't have any of these things. And the only thing you're going to need to add to this guitar is an amplifier. The case is nice and padded and it'll protect your guitar going to and from lessons. The strap itself is kind of basic, but they do give you a rather nice cable and a truss rod tool. The cable was actually kind of a highlight, surprisingly good. And the sixth pro to this guitar was definitely the neck. While this neck was more of an LP traditional style, more of a Les Paul traditional style, fatter for sure, I actually really liked it. And I typically don't like these types of necks. So that tells you how playable this neck was. And that was even more surprising considering the price point. So yeah. Neck was killer. So before I get into the cons of this instrument, one of the things I wanted to do was discuss a few issues that I saw come up in other YouTubers' reviews and noticed that I didn't have that with mine. And I'm hoping that's because Fesley saw those reviews and took to heart their criticisms and fixed those issues. And one of those issues was a grounding issue with the pickups. Did not have that. These humbuckers bucked hum 
as they should, and the guitar sounded really good. One of the issues that I saw some other YouTubers had was the spacing between the neck and the body cavity. They were able to slide uh, you know, papers down in there, and that shouldn't be, and I was not able to do that with this guitar, and I'll, I'll, I'll show you that here. So I'm hoping that Fesley took that to heart, and that is the reason that this guitar is an improvement. Now, it isn't all sunshine and rainbows, of course, Every product has its cons. So what I'm going to do now is talk about the cons of this guitar and a few things that I felt like Fesley could improve on. So the first con to this guitar is going to be that the frets are just a little bit sharp. Thankfully, they're not wildly sharp, just a little bit sharp and just enough to where it should probably be mentioned. This is a very easy fix and I will leave a link in the description to a video which I've done that shows you how to fix this. It only takes about an hour of your time and a fret file. Very simple to do and then you'll have a guitar that plays like an absolute monster. The second con to this guitar is going to be that it suffers from some of the typical budget guitar issues that you would expect. If you look here closely, you'll see one of the tuners has a bit of a scrape on it with the metal exposed. That's an easy enough fix. If you look on the top side of the guitar, you can see where this one piece of grain is right here. And when the light hits it from a certain direction, it almost looks like a blemish. And I'm not sure if this is an effect of the satin finish or if it's actually just a blem. And I know I'm being picky, but this is a review and these are the types of things you can expect on a budget instrument. And con number three is something that's just a little bit subjective, but it is something that I've seen people complain about. And that is the branding all over the guitar. Personally, this doesn't bother me. But one of the complaints that I've seen is the amount of times that the Fesley name appears on this instrument. Upon closer inspection, the name appears on the pickups, on the 12th fret, on the headstock, on the tuners, and one of the things they did was they did take it off of the back of the neck. So they have reduced it a little bit. If I was going to give Fesley a piece of advice, and to be fair, they did ask for my advice. If I was going to give them some advice, it would be this. Rebrand your pickups. Put a different name on them and actually sell them separately because they sound great. There's no reason not to offer those to folks who just want to buy those pickups. So what I would do is I would do something that's similar to what Guitar Fetish has done, which is where Guitar Fetish sells pickups, but they're branded as GFS pickups. They don't have Guitar Fetish splattered across the pickup, they have GFS. That way it doesn't feel like the Fesley name is just splashed all over the instrument. So who's this guitar for? This guitar's for anyone who's a beginner who's considering trying out learning to play guitar, but doesn't want to spend a fortune to get a decent instrument. This guitar is also for anyone who wants to learn how to mod an instrument, but doesn't want to risk making a mistake on one of their higher end guitars. You don't want to learn how to mod an instrument on a $1,500 guitar. That's where this instrument is great, because you can pick up one of these and learn how to mod a guitar at $180, and you're getting a guitar with good bones. Who is this guitar not for? This guitar is not for someone who thinks they're gonna get a custom shop quality guitar for $180. So if you're looking for a custom shop guitar, consider a custom shop. For everyone else that's looking for a budget instrument that they can either mod or learn to play guitar on, you might wanna consider Fesley. So I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, be sure to sub the channel. If you wanna know more about the other Fesley instrument that I reviewed, check out this video right here, and as always, Thanks for watching.